Hello every PC gaming a bit of a Why am I only focusing on PC gamers? Well, console gamers don't have to upgrade their console's OS, but we do, don't we? Anyway, this is a no frills install guide to Windows 10. In fact, it should be easy enough for anyone to follow because as I've discovered, upgrading to Windows 10 is as easy as just clicking a bunch of buttons. There is nothing spectacular or nothing complex about installing Windows 10. I succeeded installing Windows 10 with all of my NVIDIA drivers, my NVIDIA GeForce Experience, my microphone, and my webcam. Everything worked properly, as you'll see at the end of the video. All right, so let's get started downloading Windows 10. First of all, you don't have to wait for any ridiculous invite to upgrade to Windows 10. You don't have to wait for a stupid Microsoft logo to pop up in a special place on your taskbar. You can go to this URL in your browser right now. It's www.microsoft.com slash en dash us slash software dash download slash Windows 10. It's right there. The link is also right in the description of my video too, so you can just click it there. Uh, or you can just copy it from right from this page. So anyway, here is the download page for Windows 10. There are two versions to download. There's either the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version. Let's pray to God that you are all on the 64-bit version at this point. Uh, so this install guide is for the 64-bit version only. If you're still stuck on the 32-bit version, unfortunately I can't really help you. This video is for the 64-bit install. Alright, so click the download of the 64-bit version and you'll get a file that you can open and this is what you get next. Windows downloads the entire Windows 10 install. And then what typically happens next, once it's done downloading, it then verifies the download. Um, and this just takes a few seconds. Um, and then something strange happens after this. It, it claims that it's creating Windows 10 media. I don't know what it's doing. It doesn't really say exactly what it's doing and there's no way to find out more details about it. If you want to find out what exactly is happening in this step, you can research it on the internet. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I was a little concerned at first that it was like reformatting all of my videos, but that wasn't the case. Everything is still intact and all of my videos were untouched as well as all of my pictures. And by the way, these uh, video clips aren't real time. I'm kind of uh, splicing them in so you don't have to wait through the whole thing. The entire install took about uh, 30 minutes or so. Okay, now you get <laughs> a preparing pop-up. I don't know what it's preparing. It's preparing to tell you what's next. So now it's getting updates. This is in case any last minute patches were added to Windows 10 in addition to what was just downloaded. And now something is going to flash really quick and you won't even have time to read it. It says uh, Windows 10 install is restarting. That's all it said. Now it says we're getting a few things ready. And here's the point where you agree to whatever it wants you to agree to. And now it's getting more updates. I'm not sure you know, why it's doing this again. Maybe it actually did get an update so it had to restart. That's probably what happened. It actually patched the Windows 10 download. And then after about one more minute, you'll get this message that it's finally ready to install. After making sure that you have enough space to install it, which you should. In fact, you might want to clear out any old files that you're not using anymore on your install drive, uh, just to make sure you have enough space. Uh, you can choose what to keep if you want. There's not many options here. I would just recommend leaving it just, just like that. Um, and for some reason, I'm back here again. Um, when I clicked back, it took me all the way out here. So yeah, that's weird. So that's already a, a strange uh, UI bug. All right, making sure that I'm ready to install, even though it already did before. And after another two minutes, I finally get ready to install. Uh, and I recommend just leaving both of those there and you get a big installing Windows 10 screen. Now remember, it's installing it, but you can still use your computer if you need to shut down a few things or if you forgot to save something. You know, you should have definitely closed everything up before you even started this. But just in case, you can go through your task manager again and make sure you, you didn't forget to close anything down. 
And then right after that, we enter the higher stress phase of the Windows 10 install. This is where Windows 10 reboots your computer three or four times, letting you know its progress. At least it does that. And it's no real cause for alarm. It'll re your, depending on your desktop or your laptop, it will reboot it two or three times. It rebooted twice on me. And now what you're seeing is the final reboot with the final phase of the install. From this point, it's going to go into Windows and help you to easily configure it, even allowing you to auto-configure everything. And by the way, very quickly, even though I said it's the final reboot, what Windows 10 does not inform you about is one final reboot that's required by you. So you, the user, have to reboot your machine one last time, and we'll do that, and I'll tell you why in a minute. And success. <laughs> this is the first screen that you'll see denoting that Windows 10 install was successful. Um, hey, welcome back. Uh, get going fast. Yeah, whatever. Just use the express settings for now if you don't want to mess around with anything. It tries to explain what's new in Windows 10. I don't care. All I care about is what they got rid of with terrible Windows 8. And here's a um, kind of like a splash screen just before the login screen that we're used to with Windows 8. And here's the login page. Your credentials should be untouched. Uh, they should remain the way they were in Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1 depending on um, what you're upgrading from. Hi, we're setting things up for you. Well, that's nice even though we've been doing that for the last hour. This won't take long. Don't believe him, he's lying. Well, actually, this wasn't so bad. It only took a few more minutes taking care of a few things. Well, now that you know that it takes about an hour to install Windows, well, you can take care of a few things too. <laughs> and, ta-da, and bleh my video driver crashed. So as you can see, uh, my resolution is all wrong and it's because the NVIDIA driver is not compatible with Windows 10 right out of the box. So this is where the expert reboot comes in. All you have to do is just reboot your computer one last time and then NVIDIA GeForce experience will work and your new NVIDIA driver will work. Now, I do recommend that you wait to upgrade the GeForce Experience and your GeForce driver after you've installed Windows 10. I actually did it before, but that's totally fine too. Okay, so this particular version of the GeForce driver, it's critical that you install this particular version that was just released today, July the 29th. This is specifically for Windows 10, and this is one of the reasons why we're installing 10, is so that this new driver will work with DirectX 12. And I just wanted to show you the install of the GeForce Experience really quick. It actually installed the GeForce Experience update after the GeForce driver update, which is also totally fine. I just wanted to show you that the install sequence is interchangeable. All right, and this is a photo of the correct GeForce driver that you should install after you install Windows 10. It's the 353.62, and that was uh, released on July the 29th, and that's for all GeForce graphics cards, or at least all the recent ones with, that were released in the last three or four years. All right, and after a final test of all of my software and hardware, I discovered that the GeForce video card is working properly along with its drivers and the GeForce experience. My microphone is working. In fact, I didn't even need to change any settings. My webcam software did install uh, an updated driver, but that was fine. Uh, all of my settings were untouched and everything works. And here's a quick clip of Fallout 3. I just wanted to make sure that a few of my games worked in Windows 10, and sure enough, Fallout 3 does. It turns out that one of the mods that I was using before in Windows 8 crashed in Windows 10, so I just had to disable that mod. But anyway, that's my conclusion. Windows 10 is suitable for gaming. So I do encourage all of you to download Windows 10 and install it. Uh, if for some reason something doesn't work out, you can revert to Windows 8. Uh, Windows 10 does create a system restore point allowing you to downgrade back to Windows 8 or 8.1 if you 
run into major problems. So it's not the end of the world. I don't think you can actually downgrade back to Windows 7, but if you're at least on Windows 8, you can roll back if you need to. Um, when Microsoft has some disaster recovery built into Windows 10. All right, so tell me what what happened with your Windows 10 install in the comments. Let me know if you were successful and let me know how your games run in Windows 10. Thanks for watching.